With expanded visiting hours at Niagara hospitals, we felt it was a good time to check in with Derek McNally of Niagara Health. And Derek, the expanded visiting hours, how is it going? I, I know that it's been about uh, eight or nine days now since you increased the amount of time that uh, visitors are welcome in the hospitals. Yeah, we did. Good morning, Mike. Um, so, uh, as you know, as you say, it was a week ago when we changed those visiting hours and we've gone up, our visiting hours have uh, gone up to 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. and 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. It's actually gone very well. You know, the community and our visitors that are coming through our doors continue to be respectful, uh, respectful of what we need to do from a hospital perspective is, you know, the social distancing, the hand hygiene, etc. As you know, we always count our numbers. And on a weekly average, we see about 3,500 visitors come through our doors every week. So, you know, um, we're open, the visitors are coming in, they're very thankful for being able to see their loved ones. So yeah, it's going very well. With phase three starting on Friday, will there be changes at all to the hospitals as far as policies under phase three, or do you stay in the phase two policies? Our policies and practices will remain the same. Um, we will continue to ramp up services for patients. We'll continue to ramp up visitors for patients. We'll do all of that in a, a very organized and thoughtful manner. So um, stage three going ahead in the community doesn't change the work that we're doing in the hospitals. When would you move the hospitals into a phase three type of situation of your own? So we, we're meeting continuously, looking at all the areas that we have to identify, um, one being uh, visitors and will we expand visitors. Uh, another being as we continue to ramp up our services for um, ambulatory procedures, surgery and proce uh, procedural care, diagnostic procedures. So we will just continue to do that, Mike, in a, a safe, thoughtful way. Of course, our direct link to the communities are assessment centers, and so those will continue with the same hours as we currently have. We're seeing up to about 450 patients per day still across the three assessment centers. And we were accepting walk-ins up until 4.30, but starting uh, next week, we'll be receiving walk-ins uh, until four o'clock in the afternoon. We've just found that, you know, depending on the numbers of folks that come for 4.30, um, then it takes some maybe additional administrative time to process those patients coming in. One of the messages that you wanted to get out this week was the fact that there is now an online screening form that can be used on your mobile devices. So when visitors come to the hospital, they can do the screening form right there on their phones. Our current process up until we went live with the form yesterday was that people came, we had to ask them the screening questions. Um, now they have access to an online form uh, through Niagara Health uh, website. And uh, you can go in there, you can find the form, you can do the form on your, your mobile device, and then you can just show your mobile device when you come to the hospital. And uh, it, it just will speed things up. And it's basically the same screening questions as we've always asked, uh, except that they're electronic on your mobile device. Perfect, that should speed up the process. One final question, Derek. Big news last week uh, from Public Health and Niagara Health, the fact that there were no current COVID cases in any of the Niagara hospitals. Are we still in that situation right now? Yeah, what terrific news, uh, Mike, uh, for us and for the community. So it's uh, been a week, a week uh, since we've told uh, the community that we've had zero positive cases either in our inpatient COVID unit or in our intensive care unit. And so we continue with that trend and fingers crossed, long may it continue. My fingers are crossed. Thank you for joining us uh, once again, Derek, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to check in with you again next week for some more positive news with no COVID cases in Niagara's hospitals. Thanks.